Hi, welcome to my channel, The Magic of Math. Today, our lesson is on finding rates of graphs of proportional relationships. So just to review a couple of vocabulary terms before we begin, a proportional relationship on a graph is a line passing through the origin or beginning at the origin. So this point zero, zero. So if zero, zero is a point on your line, then we know it's the graph of a proportional relationship. Now let's review unit rate. When we're finding the unit rate, we want to know per, for one. So the denominator of our ratio will be one. So how much something cost for one, or right here it's one minute. So we want to find the speed in miles per minute. So how many miles did we go in one minute? So we're looking at this subway car speed, and we see that our Y is our distance in miles, and our X is our time in minutes. So we can interpret each of these points to be one-fourth of a mile, because that's the Y coordinate, in half a minute. So X comma Y. So I know that my minutes are x, my one-half, and my miles is my y, one-fourth. Over here, we're going to go one and a half miles in three minutes. So let's use this. We want to know our ratio miles over minutes. And I know that I'm going to take this ordered pair right here. You could use either one. I picked this one. And I know that that means one and a half miles over three minutes. I'm going to turn this into a proportion because it passes through the origin. I know there's a proportional relationship. I want to know x miles in one minute. So we'll use the cross products property. 3 times x is equivalent to 1 and a half times 1. So 1 and a half can be written as 1.5. Now we can solve our equation, dividing both sides by 3 to undo multiply by 3 and x is equal to 0 0.5. So to answer the question that I was asked, the speed of the subway car is 0 0.5 mile per minute, so a half a mile per minute. Okay, your turn. Here's a graph of the Curiosity Rover at top speed, and you're being asked to find the speed in inches per second. I would ask you to pause and come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Good luck. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So again, this is a proportional relationship because it starts at the origin. And we know that it goes zero inches in zero seconds. Our next point tells us that it goes one and a half inches in one second and four and a half inches in three seconds. And I just realized something as I was talking to you, and hopefully you did too, that this is our unit rate right here. Okay, so we want to know inches per second. I can find right here that when the x is 1, that's my unit rate when I have a proportional relationship. So my work here is done. I know that the speed of the rover is 1 and a half inches per second. Your turn. Let's talk about going to a concert. You're being asked to find the cost of one ticket. Go ahead and pause. Come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. Let's look at this graph. So I'm going to just interpret these points. Again, the x coordinate represents the number of tickets. The y coordinate represents the cost in dollars. So this ordered pair right here tells me that it's $61 for two tickets. $122 for four tickets, and $183 for six tickets. So we're going to do cost of one ticket, so dollars per ticket. And I'm going to take, I am always, almost always going to pick the smallest ordered pair closest to the origin because it's smaller numbers to work with. And I know that it's $61 for two tickets. And that's equivalent to x, tick, x dollars over one ticket. Use cross products property. 2 times x is equal to 61 times 1. Divide both sides by 2. And we get that x is $30.50. So now I know that the cost for one concert ticket is $30.50. One other tip I want to leave you with is that because it's a proportional relationship, 
any one of these ordered pairs, y over x, will simplify to $30.50. 183 divided by 6, $30.50. 122 divided by 4, $30.50. And 61 divided by 2, $30.50. So every time you have a graph of a proportional relationship, every ordered pair on this line simplifies to the unit rate. Here's another trick. Be careful because this line looks like it passes through when x is 1, that it passes through 30, but it's deceiving. It's really $30.50. So let when you have an exact ordered pair given to you, use that to be safe. Okay, try this one, please. Pause, come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. Hopefully you didn't do too much math because here we are given one hour of work is $15. That's your unit rate. So we know that because we want dollars per hour and we got $15 per hour. So you can conclude that you earned $15 per hour worked. Try this one. Pause, come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. So let's talk about the sound through steel. And we need to find the unit rate. So we want to know kilometers per second. So we're going to set it up. Ordered pair given 12 kilometers in two seconds equals x kilometers in one second. Cross products property 2x times 12. Divide both sides by 2 and x is equal to 6, so I can conclude that sound travels 6 kilometers per second through steel. Again, noting 12 divided by 2 is 6, 24 divided by 4 is 6. Remember, this is only true for proportional relationships. I hope you enjoyed discovering how to find a rate from a graph of a proportional relationship today. Please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and found it helpful.